What's up guys, Rand Razor here with another random product review video for you guys today. And today we're going to check out potentially the next generation of snow shovels, the Snowjo 13 inch cordless snow shovel. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open and test it out. So when I first saw this, I thought this was a pretty cool concept, basically incorporating a single stage snow blower in a shovel. So let's slice this open and see what we get. Alright, so popping this open, looks like the first thing that we get here is a handle. Next we have our manual and warranty information and I'd imagine last but not least should be the actual snow shovel itself. Alright so some assembly is required basically we have to attach the top piece here into the bottom piece and there is an included screw which is in this bag along with the shovel. So here's what the Snow Joe shovel looks like when you got it assembled. It's pretty easy, you just put the top and bottom piece together and put the second handle in and screw in the included uh, tightening screw. But uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to assemble than a snow blower to say the least. Anyways, um, this is what it looks like. It's a lot taller and heavier than I thought it was going to be, which isn't a bad thing. I like the weight as it just seems like it will keep the snow shovel on the ground a little bit easier. So let's uh, take a quick overview of this, starting off with the top here. So on the top part, we have a clear plastic cover that hides our battery. And once again, you can get this with or without a battery. On the other side here, you have a rubberized handle with two switches, one that disengages the lock so you can press the trigger to activate the blower. Moving towards the middle here, you have your secondary handle, which makes a big difference in, in regards to lifting this and carrying it around, as well as maneuvering it when in use. Last but not least is the blower. The motor is integrated inside this large shovel piece. It is pretty much a polycarbonate construction. You got black and blue. And it's basically like a mini single stage snow blower. You can see here snow gets swept underneath and blown outwards. Now you can already tell this pretty much blows the snow in one set angle. There's no directional deflector or anything like that. It just picks up the snow blows it out that way. I would imagine you can probably lift, or not lift, but move the uh, uh, shovel upwards or downwards uh, to kind of set the angle manually yourself. But unfortunately there is no way to, unlike a snowblower, to set how far or where you want the uh, snow to get blown. Here's a quick look at the very, very bottom of the snow shovel. You can see here there's a large plastic guard. This is pretty much where you would make the contact with the ground and you can see it would touch directly on the ground to ensure that it won't leave much snow behind. It's also held on with four screws. So I would imagine this is, is a piece that could be replaced in case it gets worn down too much. Uh, there's also some vents on the back here for the motor and that looks like it's pretty much it. So anyways, let's take this outside and give it a quick demo. So here's a quick demonstration of the snow shovel, which you can see here. We didn't really get much snow during the time of this video. I will hopefully post a follow-up video, just a quick demo of using this in more, I guess, extreme conditions where we actually get a decent amount of snowfall. But for the most part, this is just fluffy, thin layer of snow and nothing too crazy. But I did want to do this to give you guys an idea of how this thing works and kind of give you guys my initial impressions on the functionality of this. So the biggest thing that the Snow Joe shovel does is quite obvious. It pretty much takes away uh, not shoveling snow, but lifting snow. So it just blows it off into another direction, uh, saving you the time and effort from actually lifting the snow and putting it there yourself. Now for this level of snow, it's, it's quite obvious, it's, it's pretty easy. Pretty much any snow blower and of course snow shovel should be able to handle this. And in some situations, a couple of inches of snow might be better off to be shoveled manually rather than with a powered shovel. One thing I'm starting to realize with this snow, Joe snow shovel is that because you're limited on what direction the snow gets blown, for example, if you're going to use this uh, on your driveway and you're kind of facing towards your neighbor there is the potential of blowing snow onto your neighbor's side which they may not like. That being said, although it's a little bit awkward, you could shovel this on an angle to ensure that it doesn't blow a whole lot of snow in the direct direction you're shoveling with. So if you're facing against your neighbors, you could put this on an angle and the, the snow will blow a little bit more onto your side rather than over to your neighbor's side. Compared to a gas powered snow blower, this is obviously significantly more quiet. And for me, I think the most ideal use out of this would have to be using it for a walkway or deck, uh, just like what I'm doing here. And uh, however, using this for a full fledged driveway or using it as a replacement, 
as your primary snow blowing machine uh, may not be the most ideal thing in all circumstances. The issue I would have to say is not really if it can't do a driveway under normal snowfall conditions, but it would take quite a bit longer to do versus a snowblower. So after that quick demo, I have to say this is a pretty nice concept in regards to combining a snowblower and shovel into one package. And it's quite obvious, especially after experiencing this, this may not be the most ideal thing to replace as your primary snowblower. But depending on where you live, this could be a really ideal thing to have for most circumstances. Like I mentioned in my other snow drill review videos, a lot of their machines are designed not for super heavy use, uh, such as a gas powered snow blower. But again, a lot of the times, gas powered ones and even snow drills single or two stage snow blower is a little bit overkill for many snowfall situations. So I definitely have to say this would make a pretty nice secondary addition to a snowblower or if you just want a slight upgrade from a shovel uh, just because this would be adequate in a lot of normal circumstances where if you just get a couple inches of snow and also a great tool to have if you're doing a walkway or porch where it may not be ideal to hog a gas powered snowblower uh, up a set of stairs. In regards to any cons or things I don't like about these Snow Joe cordless snow shovel, I guess the only thing I could say is I wish it was a little bit wider. That way you could cover more surface area of a driveway or deck and therefore you would get the job done a little bit quicker. In conclusion guys, Snow Joe has definitely brought out a pretty innovative product combining a snow blower and shovel into a single package. For me, from my perspective, I would say this would make a pretty good secondary machine to have along with a snow blower, depending on what kind of snow blower you have. Uh, for example, a two-stage gas one would be very difficult to carry up the stairs with you, whereas something like this would be much more ideal. And on top of that, it would make a great addition to a snow blower because sometimes a snow blower is just overkill for what you may need. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and that is a quick look at the Snow Joe cordless snow shovel. If you have any questions or comments about this, ask away in the comment section there down below. Hit that like button as always helps me out and I'll see you all in the next video.